The last week in August wraps up with a two-day-long Purple Power Play. Several vendors and volunteers set up tents to give away prizes or raise awareness for their association. My name is Katie Johnston. I'm out here with the K-State Collegian. Here talking to Phil, who's a member of the Catbackers Club. Could you tell me a little bit about what you guys are out here doing today? Well, we're here to encourage people to join the Manhattan Catbackers. I saw a little bit of some of the stuff that you guys have set up at your uh, Catbackers um, tent. Yeah. Uh, what are the golf balls here for? What are the golf balls? The golf balls are here as uh, so people can buy them okay. and, and you know obviously help us from the Catbackers perspective. As if you notice, they all have Manhattan Catbackers on. Right. Our tent is for First Christian Church. We're on the corner of Fifth and Humboldt. And we're giving away free shopping bags. We're also giving away frisbees to the kids and inviting people to come and join our congregation. <laughs> Today uh, we brought the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile out to show off and take pictures, give out wiener whistles and hang out with people. Um, and we're here to support the Purple Power Play and just everything that it does for the community and for Kansas State. <laughs> We're out here with the Riley County Humane Society here with Ziba, who is a, a pet that's up for adoption here. She's been at this Humane Society for about a year. She's looking for a really great home, one of the sweetest dogs I've ever had. We're from Varsity Donuts, and we're out here selling merchandise, t-shirts, and giving away free stickers. We've been out here at least for three years, I believe. The past two years they did three mini donuts out of this truck, but it got really hot. The event was started in 1988. It usually takes place downtown Manhattan, however, due to the recent construction, the excitement took place in City Park. 